Welcome back to Automation for Marketers. In this video, I will show you how to log into Facebook, open the Facebook groups of your choice, and post automatically using Python and Selenium. Let's go! Okay, so let's get started. The first thing we have to do, as always, is to import our libraries. So I am going to copy paste it here. So it's all the usual. So we're going to use Selenium. Uh, the expected conditions option, uh, web driver wait, and the Chrome driver manager uh, to be able to make sure that we always have the right Chrome driver. Then we are going some uh, to import some time libraries to add uh, the sleep function, and then we are going to add the options to disable the notification in Chrome because. Uh, if not, then we're not going to be able to to run the script. So um, now that we have all of this, uh, let's log in. So if you've seen my video about how to scrape Facebook posts, uh, you probably already know how to do it. But in case you haven't seen it, I'm just going to uh, show you how. So first, we are going to well go to Facebook.com. Then very important. Uh, you need to be able to uh, accept the cookies because when you log into Facebook with a new uh, like a new browser, you need to accept the cookies. So that's what this is there to do. And then finally, uh, we're going to add our uh, password and our email. So here uh, I'm just not using the, the real one because I don't want it to be public. So you will just have to come here and um, add your email here and add your password here. So just make sure when you run the script that you don't forget to do it. Okay, great. Uh, so let's run this code and see, uh, well, what we get. So let's go ahead and run this. Okay, so as you can see, uh, the script worked and now we're logged in. Perfect. Now we're going to go. Shit. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to add the groups in where you, where you want. Where you want. Okay, so now that we're logged in, let's just check uh, Facebook group to see what we're going to have to do. So here, uh, what we see is that first we're going to have to scroll down because, well, as you can see here, we don't see um, the, the, the text box. So this is one thing we're going to have to do with the script. Then once we come up here, we are going to have to find this element. Okay, great. So click on the element. And then uh, we need to make this element active because as you can see, this is a pop-up. So if we don't make this element active, then we won't be able to type in this. Then we need to be able to type and click on the post button. So what we're going to do is that we're going to use the inspector to try to find um, well, everything we're looking for. So here we're looking for the X path that matches the box and well, it seems that it's this one. So it's this div with this class. Perfect. So let's just, uh, I'm just going to note this somewhere and we're going to try to use it when we write the script. So let's click. So here we will need to make the box, I um, mean the text, um, the pop-up for the text box active. And then we will need to click on this button. So let's see how we can find this button. Okay, so here to try to find a unique X path for the button, instead of using the class because it's shared with uh, 16 other elements, I'm trying to, I'm going to try to get this area label. So let's go ahead and try to do that. So let's try to find this div. Okay, at area label equals 
post. Okay, perfect. So as you can see here, we only have uh, one element, uh, which is going to make uh, the seven years work easier. So now that we have all of our elements, let's go back to the VS Code editor and let's write the code. So the first thing we are going to do is we're going to ask to add a list of group uh, where we want to post our message. So let's go ahead and do that. So here I added two, but feel free to add more if you want. Um, if you want to post in more groups, then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a for loop to be able to post in uh, the for loop post groups. So that's how it's going to go. Um, okay. So for group in this list, the driver is going to get the group wait for four seconds, then scroll down a little bit because as we've seen, we need to be able to scroll down to um, to see the text box. And then, okay, so this is where we're going to post. As you, um, as we see previously, this is the text path of the box. And then we're going to click on it and wait for two seconds. Once that's done, um, we need to be able to switch to this element because uh, remember this is a pop-up. So I'm going to use the function um, switch to active element here. And then I'm going to write my message with the send keys function and wait for two seconds. And finally, what we're going to do is that we're going to have to well post our message. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, as we've seen, uh, we're going to use this X path for the post button. Wait for three seconds, maybe three seconds is a little overkill. So let's just wait for one second here, click and then wait for five seconds and then go back to the other group. And here, since we're posting in seven groups, maybe we want to add more sleep time. So let's switch that to 10 seconds. Okay. So this is it. Uh, let's go ahead and see um, well if it works. As you can see, the post is now live because this is a public group. And for private groups, well, uh, you have to wait until the admin approve your post, but let's check. Okay, so as you can see, the message has been posted. And uh, this is a public group, so we can see the message instantly, but this is what it would like it would look like in a private group. So let's go ahead and see. So since I run this this group, I'm able to see the the admin uh, backend, and as you can see here, uh, the message is there. Okay, so we are done with today's tutorial. So if you found this video helpful in any way, don't hesitate to like, share, or subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.